Welcome back to Gaming Assembled. Today is part 5 of our 867 Orvieto roleplay series. Thank you for joining us. Before we start, we'd love to hear from you. So like, comment and subscribe to the channel and interact with us on social media. And thank you to Just Zach, Alcoholic Game Dev, Kamil Rezpakinski and Leo Piazza for subscribing already. Let's get started. Okay, so welcome back uh, to uh, Orvieto, and welcome back to, uh, I think we're on now, what, part five of this series. And um, so what we're doing today then is we're going to carry on with uh, where we left off last time. And last time we were talking about our, our quest to try and restore some Christian order to the realm. Um we have had very bad things happen to us. We've been through the ringer, so to speak, in terms of uh, our emotional sort of journey, really, to this point with various deaths and losses, of not just of family, but our heroes and people that we care about. And so it's changed us slightly, and we felt that we needed to take some action to try and restore uh, some order to the realm. Things have have gone wrong our friend who we were trying to put back put onto the throne of of the duchy so to speak um died before we had a chance to do that and with him really went the last uh hope for this the bonifazi family who seemed to be a, a one big basket of bad eggs really um they're leading the the realm uh into um essentially a, 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 a nest of vipers, you know, the, the, the people suffer underneath their rule. And although in some ways on a game level we actually like the Duke, um, he's not right for the realm and we need to do something to improve that. And obviously we also further need to do something to improve things within the kingdom because... Again, we suspect our king has been involved in the the, the sordid affairs of the uh, uh, of state in terms of the murder of our queen, our rightful queen, and we can't stand for this. We need to make sure that we do something to bring the realm back uh, into line and, and restore um, God's realm in this uh, this part of the world. Um, so what we've done is we're, we're taking some action really to try and improve things. And the first thing I've done on your suggestions is to look at bringing in um, a a wife for a, a knight. Now, I've tried several different ones and this lady here was probably the, the best person I could bring in who sort of fit our Christian values to a certain degree um, and uh, also had a, a better uh, intrigue skill than uh, the very good willing but somewhat underskilled uh, Gissel who is currently uh, our, uh, our spy master. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap things out. We're going to give her uh, that role and we are going to send her up to the court of our king and see what we can find out. Um, and I want to find this off something though. I want I still want him to have a role. So let's look at court positions. Um, perhaps we can find him, give him a job uh, somewhere else. There we go, Gisolf. I, I think we owe him that. We owe him something. He's he's been with us since. Uh, since the beginning so far and I want him to have a role I think I think he he deserves that he deserves something so um, you know he, he's done us proud in a fashion so far uh, he's certainly been a faithful uh, faithful ally faithful member of our council so I think he deserves some recognition so where do we go from here well essentially uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and recover from our uh, ooh, what's this? Our acquaintance died. Who is he? Uh, I don't even don't know who he is. I would guess he 
is a relation to the duke next door. The one who was... Uh, oh, no, he, he was the one that was excommunicated, wasn't he? So he was the... He used to be the duke um, next door, I'm guessing. Yes, he was. And he was the one who was um, excommunicated. So, oh, he's died. Okay, fair enough. But yes, so last time we took some land from the Bonifazi family. It was an extended member of their their family. It wasn't a direct Bonifazi, but, um, you know, it, it was essentially uh, all about trying to bring back some godly rule to the realm. And the ultimate plan, uh, we'll carry on down that one, the ultimate plan for moving forward is going to be to, uh, now that, I mean, with our, our friend having passed away, there isn't really anyone who is a suitable duke, really, uh, who's, who's grown up and ready to actually do the job. There isn't really anybody who is suitable in our eyes. Um, we have an, an well, uh, the current duke is obviously uh, his credentials as a godless antagonist we've discussed uh, multiple times before. His son uh, and heir uh, is uh, an, an atheist. Um, his other son has less than Christian traits. Uh, obviously a daughter. His youngest son is a potentially a potential good egg to a certain degree. You know, he's he's honourable and forgiving, so it's a good beginning for him. But he's only ten; he's very young. He's not up to to ruling and won't be for for several years. So, and even then, he'll only be very young and inexperienced. So, ideally, we need someone who's grown up. And so, there isn't really anyone. Again, here he's he's even younger. He is a potentially well, there's the potential for him to be uh, a godly individual, but again, he's not there yet. Uh, and this one, dishonourable villain. So, the Bonifazi family, as I say, bit of a uh, snake pit on their own. And so, the plan is, is that I think we'll keep an eye. We're going to look at trying to take over this duchy. I think with our, I think we see it as our duty to do so. Um, the Current rulers have failed. We need to restore order. We need to bring back Christian values. Once we've done that, we can then look at handing out, obviously, other titles. And it may well be that those potential good eggs of the Bonifazi family, we, we give them land back. You know, we give them some of their territory back and we try and um, encourage them to stay in the light, so to speak. So, you know, as well as, you know, giving land potentially to to our own followers, our Christian, um, good Christian followers who have been with us since the beginning. So we'll look at doing things like that and see how we go. Uh, espionage, sodomy. While performing the duties as my spy master, Agatha has uncovered a secret held by Duke Erluf uh, of, um, I guess that'd be Provence. Uh, he has been enjoying intimate company with other men. The foolishness of thinking that such a sin against God would go unnoticed. Okay, so worth keeping an eye on him. He's uh, another duke in the realm because our king has been uh, probably stabby stabbying his way out into uh, further territory. Um, so, uh, you know, the uh, Carlings are quite uh, good at that, it would seem. But uh, we have another son. So, what, what are the names of our sons so far? We've got Christian, ah, yes, Nicholas, Roberto, and Joshua. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we'll go with that. This one, naming after us. Fair enough, I could go with that as well. That sounds reasonable. Uh, it's not on... Um, an unusual thing to name a child after the father, so we'll go with that, and we will see uh, how he turns out, and we'll look at uh, giving him an education moving forward. Uh, Roberto has turned six, so we now need to look at giving him an education, perhaps. So he's charming, so there's diplomacy trait there. Uh, 
So perhaps that's the way to go, but it's selected an intrigue focus, which is which is certainly interesting. Uh, it's traits seem to go that way. So yes, that'll be quite interesting. I mean, there's a, certainly a different um, path than uh, than we would have taken, but obviously he's his own person, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, happy family. On my way to somewhere, I pass a, by a hill near a small village and notice a young man and woman playing with their child. They look uh, happy together, enjoying each other's company. Uh, that warms my heart. They seem like good people. Seeing happy people makes me irrationally irritable. No, I think we certainly like that. It's, we're, we're, we're like family. That's certainly uh, part, of, uh, part of us. Have we assigned a guardian here? No, we haven't. So who would we give as our guardian, do you think? Um, we want somebody who is close to us, I guess. Um, we'd want, although he's going down an intrigue focus, I think we'd want somebody who could set a good example for him. So let's have a look. I mean, I suppose, oh, there we go. I suppose our wife might be a good person. So we'll let our wife educate him. Uh, and uh, lovely, that's fine. Espionage. Whilst performing her duties as my spy master, Agatha has uncovered a secret held by King Lothair. He has secretly uh, taken Adelaide, a commoner from Bene Benevento, as a lover. So, 49, and he's 48. Oh, fair enough, okay. Well, useful to know. So, it's not the secret we're looking for, but at least we're on the right lines. And Gisulf has died. So he died from being ill. Oh, goodbye, Gisulf. That's a shame. Um, his daughter is now 16, uh, which I was very surprised to say that, uh, you know, someone who was sterile, married to someone who was barren, managed to have a daughter. So she must be the miracle child. Um and uh, she's barren herself, which I suppose from a game perspective just means that fertility is less rather than she can't have children. But, um, I mean, it might be interesting to, you know, given that she's possibly the miracle child and we would possibly see that, um, to um, ask her to take the vows. I mean, we could try. We could see what that gives us. I mean... See if she's willing to do that. I think it certainly would fit the, uh, the the nature of our realm. What we would think she's an astute uh, intellectual. So uh, and you know, so it's maybe she would, maybe she wouldn't. Um, I think it's not. It's something that we would see as being a good thing. Whether she would agree with us is another matter. Um, in the name of the divine, following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I ask my son. And air Christian what he thought. He expressed doubts about whether any god would want realm to be ruled by such harsh law. So, cynical, just, temperate. Um, well, I mean, temperate would be the um, would be the Christian way to go, perhaps. Although, I do think we have some sense of justice too and I think we would see that as being important too. I mean let's have a look at his traits. He's compassionate and obviously other than cynical he's charming. He's a gracious planner. So I think perhaps the just one might be, you know, maybe an aspect of justice, maybe that's what he would go for. Um, uh, you know, that's maybe what he would lean more towards. Or it's one of those two. Um, I think we'd want. He's we're grooming him to to be our heir to 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 rule after us. I think. Um, I think that would be the one to go for. I think that makes sense to me at least. Uh, right, and so um, Maria Gisolf's daughter has. Uh, uh, she's, uh, I will answer the call, serve a higher power, and I thank you for setting me on this path of righteousness. Okay, very good. So, uh, she is now serving God. 
which, uh, as I say, is something that I can see we would see as important, and we would see her as a bit of a miracle child. So to thank God for that, a life-serving God, makes sense to me. Trusting me, my son Nicholas has been asking me for a wooden warrior for a long time, and I told him I would get him one for three months uh, if he displayed more focus in his studies. Ever since I made the promise, he has been redoubling the efforts of uh, his effort of studies. Um, so trusting content fickle. No, I think certainly with uh, trusting and and being, you know, true to our word, that's certainly something we would look at doing for him, and that is good. Mental break too busy. By God, petitioners from the realm have been queuing up lately. This work feels endless. Yet another one steps forward, evidently a distressed merchant of some kind. I'll get to, uh, to your problems in a few weeks, but you are not important enough for anything faster. The merchant gulps at me, blinking rapidly in shock. Was it something I said? Um, so, scourging myself would loosen the realm's sin. Going for a ride now. I am the count. I can do this. Well, um, we took the athletic trait, and so you know he has that trait. Um, the other one would be the flagellant trait, um, which obviously would fit with our sort of Christian mentality. Um, but I don't. I, I think. I mean, one of you was saying in the comments that, you know, to, to go through everything through the eyes of a Christian focus is possibly not the way to go. So perhaps we go for that. we we'll go for going for a ride since we have that trait and uh, certainly fits with us. And, you know, we could look at doing that. We'll work off some stress. That would probably be a good thing for us. Uh, an interesting adventurer. I was at the local inn where I met an interesting man at. At first, I thought he was a typical grizzled mercenary. However, after talking uh, with him for some more, I learned that not only was he quite cultured and charming, he was actually trained as a scholar in a faraway land before he decided to take up adventuring. Versatility is the key to survival, he says. Hire me and you'll be well prepared to face threats, both physical and of the mind. As I fight with both blade and pen, you might say I'm equipped to handle near, uh, nearly any danger, even those that may not come from uh, in the form of overt violence. He says he will stay in the area for a short while before leaving for elsewhere. If I want to hire him, uh, I'd better do it soon. Uh, I will consider your offer. So, for as long as you have a mercenary scholar in town, get character modified, you have access to decision to hire him as you, to be your bodyguard. Okay. Well, let's have a look at that. Um, it appeared on our... Where is it? Hire mercenary scholar. So I need a bit more money. So let's have a little look at that. Bodyguard who is a mercenary scholar. Character has hired... A uh, mercenary who was originally a scholar, one of the trusted bodyguards, as a warrior who is uh, no mere brute, but also a cunning thinker, will surely be an asset to any ruler. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we've not got the money right now, but we'll have to see if we can try and do that. I think that might uh, might be good. Stress coping, heavier is more. This is not enough, I think to myself, as I put down the training axe. I've been practicing non-stop. But I'm not getting tired. I need a tougher challenge. Yes, something bigger or perhaps heavier. Something uh, sure to tire me out. Um, well, um, I mean, that would be basically just continue to exercise. We could get our son involved. I think we bring family in. I don't see that. Although there is the potential that someone gets wounded. Um, or extra heavy acts. Now we've not really got the money for that. And we're diligent in our duty. So I don't think we'd go into debt just to have a, 
uh, a heavy axe. Um, let's get a family involved. You gain good exercise for one year and lost 32 stress. Brilliant. Okay. So we'll wait and see if we can get up to 15 gold and we might hire the uh, mercenary scholar. That might be a good thing. Um, I've been corresponding with your Chancellor, Rodvold. Uh, I must say that I've come to see you in a new light. Perhaps even someone that one day I might be proud to call a friend. Who are you? That would be a good start. So, okay, so you're down from, you're from there. Okay, brilliant. Nice. Um, right, so, we need a plan for moving forward. So, I think, I mean, ultimately we need some more money to be able to do anything. Um, while forming a juice of Prime Master Agatha has uncovered a secret held by King Lothair. He was in fact, uh, so Countess Wald, Waldrada is in fact the bastard child of Countess Waldrada and King Lothair. So, okay. So, hang on. So she... Okay, right, okay, right, so, uh, so she is the ruler of, no, she's not the ruler, she's the ruler's wife, the, the Count of Savoy, his wife is actually the daughter of King Lothair, and that lady there, who was another Count's wife. Um, okay, fair enough. We're racking up a few secrets from him as we go. Um, but I think in terms of a plan, I mean, what we need to do is keep looking to try and pick out the, the bad eggs of the group. Uh, I think the most obvious one would probably be our neighbour here. Um, that would certainly make the most sense to me. Um... Yes, I think that would make the most sense to me. And, you know, so we could look at trying to take that. Or, mind you, we could look at doing that. Take that. Um, because, again, he's not a Christian ruler. He's someone who we're doing to, not with a view of, of being warlike. The idea is we're looking to try and restore order, as I said. That's the focus. Um, and if we take that one, then that would give us... Potentially, has the duchy of that been created? No, it hasn't. So we could then create a duchy and become a duke in our own right. And then perhaps we could look at trying to... We could go by a different path over in Tuscany. We could, as I say, look at trying to take um, one of these potential good eggs. I mean, he's wrathful, bold absolver. I don't know. That's, wrathful's not necessarily a terrible trait. But we could look at trying to take somebody from the Bonifazi family who, there we go, this guy might be suitable. We could look at trying to take him or someone like him, uh, it'd have to be that one, wouldn't it, for the duchy, and try and put them on the throne, perhaps. Maybe that's what we do. Um, but, um, you know, we try and simply remove the bad eggs and put someone good in place but uh, obviously give ourselves a little bit of extra uh, power in order to be able to do that um, by claiming a duty for ourselves. Um, you know I think we'll obviously we'll need the military power to physically make these changes and so it's makes it's a practical step. So, the sermon today, Durant held a fiery sermon for all the children of the court. They were apparently spellbound as he zealously read from the scriptures. My son Nicholas seemed to take it to heart, perhaps a little too much. He has been hounding the servants for hours since, pointing out how they can be better Catholics. So, strong belief will serve you well, boy. Definitely, I don't even need to read the other options. Um, that is what we would say, 100%. Um, so, dedication to our faith. Excellent. So, I think we'll wait. Um, neighboring ruler won war. Okay, so he's been fighting over there. Uh, who did he fight against? 
All right, he's taking more land on. Uh, that's what Sardinia, isn't it? That one. So fair enough. Uh, each living child gives you one random skill point. Excellent. Uh, dark cave. One of the children at court, Hel Helweave Helweaver, had taken the wooden sword of your of a younger girl and thrown it into a nearby cave. My son was there and saw it happen. Saw it all happen. Christian flew into a fit of rage and beat Hal Weaver bloody. Uh, this didn't help the younger girl, who sta started crying even more. It seems that Christian has trouble controlling his anger. So who is she first? She is... Um, I'm not sure who she is. Who, who's, who's he? He's no one, really. He's just someone randomly at the king's court, isn't he? Uh, okay. So, no one particularly close to us. Um, so, he keeps wrathful. Uh, should have gone there. Uh, you should have gone in there yourself without fear. You should have made uh, Hell Weaver get the toy back. So, stubborn brave or wrathful I think the only one out of those that our character would probably remotely go for remotely sort of promote his son to go for would be bravery I can't see him being wrathful I can't see him being particularly stubborn there's nothing to say that but being brave in the face of injustice or whatever yeah I can see that so that's the only one I can really see that we would uh, potentially look at um Let's just, one before we do that, let's look at the Guardian, because she is now six. Again, I think we'll give it to our wife. Um, has she got a... Has everybody got a learning focus who is old enough? She's going for martial education. Okay, because she's bossy. Fair enough. Um, he's only three, so doesn't need one yet. That's fine. Okay. Right, carrying on. Uh, while performing the duties as my spy master, Agatha has uncovered a secret held by King Lothair. Uh, and Amelie, Amelie is in fact a bastard, the bastard child of Adelaide and King Lothair. He seems to be getting about a bit, does King Lothair. Um, so, okay. And he seems to have a bit of a wandering eye. Um, so, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with all these secrets. But um, ideally, we want to know if he killed our queen. But I suppose we just have to keep searching for that. Um, so look at this faction. Um, another, another bastard child. So again, Adelaide, same same parent. So uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, this is just townspeople, which hopefully should be improved uh, once uh, our, um, I think our marshals just re finished restoring order, but uh, control, but um, perhaps it's a cultural thing. Um, I imagine they're of a different culture. Yes, they are. They're Sardinian culture. So we'll have to look at that. Um, perhaps, as I say, look at giving some land away, but... Uh, I don't know, we shall see. Uh, right, so I think, I mean, this is going to put us in debt again, so I think perhaps we just let it run through once more, because there's no point going into debt and, and then just sitting there in debt, I don't think. So we'll, uh, we'll go through that. Right, espionage attempted murder while performing duties. Uncovered a secret held by Count Conrad of Savoy. He was the man behind a failed murder attempt against Count jo jo Joffroy. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, the next attempt didn't fail. But um, okay, so we've got some. We're getting some people who we can potentially blackmail should we uh, need an ally. Uh, okay, he's like the Brythonic language. Brilliant. It's probably not doing much good down here, but. 
Uh, despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets in King Lothair's court. I still believe there's something uh, going on in the Shadow Zone. We need a little more time. We shall find it. Stone Keg. I caught these two hiding in the pantry. A very irate cook shouts at me, dragging my son Nicholas and Rup Ruprecht in tow. Who's he? He is... I don't know, we seem to be mixing with all sorts of people these days. It's people in the wider realm. Um, it seems if my ward has, uh, is a little troublemaker, but one that's had a change of heart. So, diligent, gregarious, or temperate? Um, well, we are diligent, so I think we go with that one. It's something we would naturally want to encourage our child to do. Um, <coughs> right, so this is the um, this is the faction. We have an uprising. So let's go and deal with that. Send our troops across. Should be uh, fairly straightforward. They they can't even besiege at the moment. But that will uh, not always be the case, so we need to uh, put the rebellion down. Let's speed that up a little bit. And there we go. Job done. Excellent. So let's have a quick look at you. So, gracious adventurer. So, I mean, he's not particularly of any use to us. He's a decent marshal. But we've got a good marshal already. So I think the Christian thing to do would probably be to simply let him go. I mean, if I can, can I ransom him? Mm, I guess so, but just for a, a favour. But um, I, mean, I suppose I could recruit him. Um, or would I make him take the vows? You know, he's offended God. Yeah, we'll do that. That's a good way to, to deal with, you know, deal with him and, and things. If, if he's going to incite rebellion, he needs to pay recompense, uh, you know, pay, I can't say that word. He's got to make amends and uh, make amends with God. Um, so another secret, um, he was, he has secret taken... Right, Agatha has uncovered a secret held by Prince Bishop uh, Adelbold of, yeah, uh, secret taken Paternel, spymaster of Duke, Gatenau of Cabria, as a lover. Oh, okay. Is this the guy who, who killed our queen? No. He's miles away. I meant to put that. I wonder if he's still alive. Um, let's have a quick look at that, actually. Let's just go into the carlings, into the family tree. King Louis II. Oh, no, no. The, the, the one who killed the king, that's who I mean. This guy. Is he still alive? Yes, he is. I'm going to pin him up there. He's not got, a, he's not got any lands. Um, so, I mean, what we could do is we could... See if we can invite him to court and then arrest him. Um, because he killed our king, but um we're like we're gonna manage that. Um anyway, we'll keep an eye on him all the same. Uh ooh, this one's died. Who's this? Oh yes, he, he died a while back, didn't he? And yes, there we go. He's the, the guy we just pinned. Right, so we're nearly here with this. I think what we're gonna do what we'll do is we'll look at doing this. Someone's trying to kill my courtier. Okay. Social manipulation. <clears throat> First time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought. And my, va my, my vassal, Mayor Uberto, has grown bolder. So he's arguing with us. Um, greedy, vengeful, gregarious journaler. Um... Let's see, ignore him and steal his ideas, uh, have tasks that are impossible to complete. I think we did that one last time we had this. It was the most Christian thing out of them all. I didn't want to like, beat him or anything. 
you know, it wasn't about shouting at him and saying, you are, you know, how dare you do this. Um, cruel but perhaps it had to be done. When Mayor Umberto tried to complete his task thoroughly, <coughs> I scold in front of everyone. When he hurried to get it uh, done in time, I displayed his sloppy work for all to see. He bent himself backwards to please me, yet I never acknowledged his efforts. Now he remains quiet, eyes cast low. Okay. As I say, I think it's the, um, the, 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 the best way to go. Plush and exotic carpet. Uh, a plush carpet, vibrant and soft, arrives as a gift from Count... Right, so he's trying to kill me. Uh, I think I better get rid of it. Extra vill and I get some coin for it too. Right, so this is going to put us in debt, but only slightly. So we'll we'll just run with that. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to fight this uh, in a minute, and then we'll leave it at that for today, because I think that'd be a good place to end. Um, let's see, patriarch. There we go. So we'll. Uh, We'll wait for this, and then we can look at taking this other land. And we are at one step further towards our goal of trying to, uh, let's say, re-establish some Christian order. Uh, while performing your duties, by master, blah, blah, blah. Uh, his secret, um, so the prince bishop here, secret taken, commoner as his lover. So everyone seems to be doing everybody. Uh, ah, new liege to my vassal as an influential court uh, is only uh, sorry, as an influential count even, it is only fair that you have a voice on my council uh, I'm now chancellor, so let's have a look at our liege here so as I say, he's the atheist so, although he's not as bad as his father I still don't think he is the way to go but you know we, we don't like him he's he's certainly not well he's, well he's an atheist he's not a good Christian ruler that is the point so right we'll still be on his council for now but um, I think that is the way we go so we are nearly in the positive again uh, oh yes I should probably make him Pin him up there and unpin him because there's no point tracking him anymore because he's no longer with us. Um, Plotting to kill Trudy, okay. Keep an eye on all that. Right, there we go. So, time to go to war. So, let's raise our troops. Uh, more lover knowledge coming on let's slow everything down christian has come of age uh we did the betrothal with her which wasn't perhaps as i say the best move from a role play perspective but uh you know we did that and whatever but let's read this with his coming of age my tuition of christian is at an end with sufficient tutelage even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards diplomatic influence such as christian can come to truly understand it with an excellent grasp of all manners all, yes, all manners of etiquette uh, and understanding of all kinds of entertainment and the eloquence to go with it, he will have little trouble in navigating a life at court. Very good. Right, so let's do this. Um, yeah, fine. Let's do that. We could call in our ally. That might be sensible. Uh, time is on our side, but Right. Stop misclicking. Well, this says that we're going to do all right anyway. So let's let's go on in. Let's let's do it anyway. We'll still call our ally in, and uh, he can come in as reinforcements, perhaps. Here we go. So it seems to be going our way, and maybe our ally will get here. To support but it's not going to be necessary you can come and help us with the siege there we go oh, i can help mop up the counter-attack there we go oh no or he just gets counter-attacked himself and more lovers 
they're everywhere. Everybody seems to have be having an affair at that court, which I suppose in a way just shows you just how the influences come down from the king, really. It's spread to everybody else. And so the corruption needs to be um, treated and, and, and gotten rid of. And that's, that's what we're doing. Uh, one day, while relaxing in my garden, I started to reflect on human nature. Uh, why are some people cruel in this world? I wonder, an a idealistic, should there be an idealistic? And naive person might argue, for example, that there is more kindness out there. Everyone uh, would be able to peacefully live together. So, uh, if there was more kindness out there, everyone would be able to live together better. Uh, I wish it was so people are just in need of proper guidance. That is exactly what we're trying to do. Um, so, let's go with that one. Scheme at court again. Scheming against Trudy. She seems to be... Um, oh, right, okay. So, it's it's my court tutor who is scheming against her. Um, right, well, we certainly wouldn't stand for that. <clears throat> um, so I think we, we certainly wouldn't stand for that um, so she can go to jail there we go the war's won there we go so I think we'll leave to that for today but we are now in a position where we can <clears throat> he now has that title, but we can look at trying to get that. But what it means is that uh, with the succession that's gone on in the realm, things have divided up a little bit more. Um, so we can look at uh, taking that last county off him at some point, and then we'll have uh, a duchy. And we'll have removed the rotten eggs from a certain amount of our realm all the same. And we can look at them trying to do something better uh, with regards to putting a, a better heir onto the throne uh, in Tuscany then. That, that's possibly the way forward. And then get an alliance with them perhaps. I think that's a better way of doing this. Um, and more that would be more fitting to our character as a person. Remove the rotten eggs just as we need to. And then look at trying to build up and restore uh, the rest. Uh, so that we can take action against a corrupt and ungodly king. That is really our goal. And that fits lovely with our story, I think. So that is where we're going to go moving forward. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, please do like, uh, comment and subscribe to the channel. And as ever, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.